What? Robbie, do you know how rare Mad Planets is? 1983, they made 1,400 of them. And they just they made very few of them. So that sound, it would be bass. Oh, this reminds me of asteroids. Yes. It's got some real, real good color to it. Though. I like it. It's really nice. The color is gorgeous. 1983 it was programmed by Ken Yabumoto, who passed away recently. I heard about that. <coughs> this is one of the very clear Fire. games that he made, Robbie. Why do you, you don't know anything. You don't even know who Ken is. Ken? It's, it's his first. Is that Barbie and Ken? <sighs> you can't make fun <laughs> that Ken of a man that did a lot of effort in this. I wanted to show you. The game, you're the spaceship. You can spin and rotate. I'm not a spaceship. You can move this around and fire. The little planets start little. I want to be get a little bigger. planet. If you don't kill the planet before the, the little tiny planets around it emerge, then you have to kill the little tiny planets to kill the big one. There is a comet. Now, see, see the, see the uh, little astronaut? If you stay, if you get on top of the astronaut... Oh, this them. is too fast for it, me. It's a very fast game. Now, look. Ooh. Can... Yabba Mato, see? The first ah, letter, see? very nice. He programmed that, so there's his first name, and then the first letter of each name. Isn't that neat? This is going to England. This has been converted to 240 volts, plus tax. Uh, Richard May ordered this. He sent it to us. It was actually in splendid condition. Somebody had already, I think, put a new overlay on it. The cabinet was very nice. What we did do is put new tea molding on it because that was a little hacked up. But look, Rob, somebody. This is the put alligator the skin tea molding. Yes, the leather. How they many alligators, alligators did it take like to make that strip skin. of it? Alligator skin. Yes. Now, Rob, look. The uh, yes. side. The team. This is brand new artwork that somebody created. The decal stickers to go on it that somebody made because suddenly everybody wants this game. I want it. Can you find one with this joystick though? Rob, so many of those 1,400 were made into trivia whizzes. I polished this joystick this morning. Is that why you're looking for stretched out? You polish your joystick every morning. <laughs> you were peaking. Not just in the mornings, the uh, afternoon. Uh, Frank, can you squeeze pit? <laughs> <laughs> I usually do it. If you can more. fit through there, I can fit through there for sure. I wanted to share with you. This game has some special stuff. Robbie, come back here. What? Come back here. <laughs> <clears throat> now, the man that, that shopped this stuck in a, a brand new monitor. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Well, new old stock, probably. That's um, Wells Garner. He also converted the power supply to a nice, stable, big computer power supply. So we have, he's got the plugs and cables to plug in. But what Richard wanted us to do is to install a board to play multiple games which we've done here. So this is the new Gottlieb board, and I'm gonna show you how easy this convert. He also insisted that we buy a new filter board, which we did. So that was purchased. The original board here is running simply to supply a couple of minor voltages, one to the knocker coil, which is there, but it doesn't knock with this board. But it's there anyway. The voltages are there and present. We had to change a couple connectors. I think that's all we did. I'm going to show you how easy it is to play. I thought it would be fun to play a game with the original board and then show you how fast you can switch it to the other one. And what I'm going to do is... So much fun. Oh. I'm rolling for that one. You never rolling? No, I just... Oh. Do it again. This is a good surprise on let you. Me, let me slap you right across the face. You ever it's ever a beautiful do. day to die. I almost said it. Is it the last thing I'll ever do? Last thing? Oh! Between the two of them. Mm. What happened with the bottle? I didn't see that. Oh. Drop it from the ceiling. Oh, okay. Okay, now we have the game set on free play. Here. I've programmed it. I thought Ken Tagatura did it. Now look, if I get... See, darn it. So you have to hit them before those stupid planets emerge. Because if you don't kill all the planets, stupid planet, then you can't blow up the darn things. Two more planets. One more planet. 
Ow, you got killed. I'm still on round one. Suck. Good. Now round two. Here we go. Here we go. So if you get these guys before they get their stupid little planets. The moons, are The moons are planets. Planets, moons. No, oh, I got the round three before. We took you six months of training. Oh, there you we got go. Lucky. There are the comets. Do you see the comet? I'm making no comment about that. No further comment. Whoa, whoa, gotta win. Keep moving, you gotta keep moving. Oh, no. crap! I was oh, so close! Oh, crap. This piece of junk. Game over. Oh, no. Look, I'm gonna ruin his score. Here we are. Richard? Oh, you're gonna have to... Go this way. Oh, okay. Go one more. Ah! But I didn't get rid of his high score. Okay, let, let's go convert it. Robbie, come back here. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Even an imbecile like my brother can do it. It's three steps. Power off. Step one. Remove the connector from the long board and plug it into the adaptomatic. This adapter makes this connector go to a JAMA, but you have to add five volts, uh, which is this one, or the speaker, or this is the five volts, okay? Then you have to add the speaker and then the uh, rotary controller. So I have to unplug now the rotary controller from the game, which is here. We added these lights. That's part one. And lastly, the speaker. Done. So it's three steps. Turn it back on. And the new board is now powered up. And this wonderful board, you can configure all the games, even though there's horizontal games in here, you can configure them to play um, all the games. So here we are playing this one, just like the other one. Okay, maybe I'll do better on this one. No. I got it. I'll tell you what, I, I can see this game getting more and more popular. God, they turn planets fast. Crappy things. I'm gonna die fast. Alright, I'm gonna hold the two buttons down. You hold the start buttons down, and you can convert it to the other games. Now, who can forget the famous crawl? We have to turn the sound up on this because. Oh, you know what? The volume is on the board. That's right. See, I'm no longer using the volume. Now, this one doesn't have a fire button. I have to pick up all these things. Uh, David Teal is the master behind the sound. David Teal also did a lot of the early Gottliebs. Then he moved on to pinball, guys. Let me see if I can walk between them. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> there's a free buffet. Ah! The buffet! One more, Rubby. Uh oh. You're getting faster. Yes! <laughs> I love that swirl effect. See, now we can shoot our. We have to pick these boobs up. And you have to shoot this stuff at the creeps that are. I don't like this game. All right, let's go. So, reactor. Of course, What's reactor. That? Was that Three Stooges I saw? Yes, Three Stooges is in it. But really? you see now they've reconfigured this. So, it plays sideways. I, I forgot how to play this. Oh, I know. You're supposed to bounce these things into the wall. That's it. I, I forgot. This is the first time I've played it since we... Sadly, we ended up converting a lot of these games, and you can't bounce against the wall either. Great game. I uh, highly recommend you convert your Qbert or anything else to this system. I'm done with that. Screw What's loose. The of course, stretched. Like, people are used to doing this with their TVs. Of course, 
You can only play one player, of course. Hmm. I don't think we do that. I'm not sure. I think it's just this. At least people get a chance to see this game. So this is your slap. Oh, a white guy, huh? <laughs> oh, a no, white guy, I, I, huh? I'm not trying to play it. This is awful. I know you have to pick up the key to get out. And uh, you can also pick up the oh, hammer. No. But I, I, I didn't get it in time. See, if you pick up a... Uh, you can pick up a pie and throw it. Like that. Or you can pick oh, up something oh else God. to throw. Oh God, huh? See, went that spot. Okay. Now the dog cleans the face off. So if you pick up the hammer, you can hit somebody with it. Hey, out. Like that. Oh, no. Okay, well I'm done. I'm done with this too. Just all right. People get people get a good chance. Certainly. Isn't it nice how the top moves? Faster, harder, more challenging, Hubert. Of course, the original classic game. Uh, David Teal, by the way, I'm going to put a link. See the link up on your screen? That's to a video. It, it does not make the sound of the uh, knocker. We couldn't figure out why the knocker is hooked up. But. Nice knockers. What knockers? Oh, thank you, Doctor. I don't know. But anyway, it's set up so it'll play with this joystick. You just have to get used to it. And there we go. So what do you think? He's got a choice of either board, and he also purchased, Rob, another board that I shipped in the other game. It's inside the zookeeper. So he can he can put two games into this, so he has the ability to keep the new system running, or whatever. Anyway, good, Robbie, come over here because we have another 240 volts. It's a hit, but this one's going to Kuwait. And actually, let's start. How back long here. do we have to Kuwait? Oh, oh, for you to move. That's only oh. to Kuwait. Robbie, let's show him the back first. Let's show him the back, little lady. Oh, ew. Okay. Just like the other machine, this is converted to 240 volts, courtesy of that nice. adapter. Now, um, this one had the ability to be jumpered. Gottlieb put a universal transformer inside, so that's converted. But this did not. So, this here, 120, goes into here. It changes it into 220 or 240, and that changes it back to 120 for the game. But I'm sure a customer will just have to plug it in. We're even giving him. I had a couple of these extra conversions with the funny plugs on them that are our normal plug plugs into the funny plug. Look, the Street Fighter board. The original Street Fighter game, folks, was a three board system. Now, this is the very same game that was used in the, um, uh, the big enormous Street Fighter with the two buttons. Same board. As a matter of fact, Rob, I sold a circuit board, an original Street Fighter board, which are very rare and hard to find, made in 1987, and it was sold to a man in Canada, and he rented it out for the movie, um, the clown movie. What was the Killer clown Clowns movie? from Outer Space? It. Uh, it. Yes. No, It. The movie It. As a matter of fact, uh, I have a link here, but... If the link, if, if I don't have enough link space, the link will be at the end. So you can watch the It movie where we actually show this very same board. But this is an original dedicated game. Dedicated. Now, now here's what's so neat. This was found in a barn. And Stephen, you were there. You were right, right? Do you remember? Yes, with Ryan. Yes, I remember. Do you remember? That was uh, you know, way about eight or nine years ago, I would think. Yes. So, so that was in a barn, this game here. And, Rob, here's the and it looked thing. just like that, too, when it came out. We actually, yeah. filmed, we actually filmed the whole episode with Steven, me, uh, the filmmakers, uh, Nate and Corey were there, and uh, Ryan. Ryan. Was Dan in that, too? No, no, no. John and Adam. Yeah. No. Uh, actually, here's a preview of that episode. It was Philadelphia Game Room Warehouses. Remains from his home. The poor man passed away, and then the, I guess the bank foreclosed or whatever, and all the equipment was gone. And they asked me to come up and clean out this barn. Do you remember that? 
Well, was it worse than the Fearstein collection? All them Ooh, mechanicals? Was it worse than that? It was bad. But the footage is still present. Nate and Corey have all the raw footage. And they told me they would give me the footage to edit. And then you'll actually see us roll this baby out. So this has been there all these years. It's in advertising. We left it alone in advertising. We repaired this overlay. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I can... Okay. All right. The original marquee. These are extremely hard to find um, because it's not Street Fighter 2. It's Street Fighter. The original, original control overlay. panel overlay. Now what we did is this part we uh, repainted black. You can't get this. Uh, there, this. The only part that was cracking was here, and it's been okay. filled up. We filled it. Am I using the right to finger? Make, no. mm -hmm. To make it, it solid, so it's right. less likely to the tear. The original it. monitor bezel. The same original monitor that was in the there. The original 240 volt sticker is original. That's oh, original. This is original. We did put the orange T mold on. I thought that set it off nice. Now, the two button, two big buttons, one button controls the three, and the other button controls the kick. So they made the game to run with six buttons, but they combined the three and the two push buttons. And uh, that was uh, for the giant version. I flashed a picture of it. Uh, Robbie, I'll have you know that I am world renowned at playing this game. Yeah. I'm world round. That I agree with. Finally, we agree. On oh, that. and look, we put these marvelous free play buttons Marvel. on. See there? So that's our quarter slot. I thought that was Marvin. They put the marvelous um, Marvin. You can buy them here. Buy them. You can remove it. It won't leave any stain. You don't have to alter your coin door. See how we wired it in. Frank, you don't like stain. Do you? Um, the boys, we use heat shrink. But this is, you need to do that. Highly recommend it. We're going to do it to all the games, unless they have a free play mode. Robbie, how about if you and I play? Roll in, the, roll in the pollen this morning? I'm a working man. Ha! Here, roll, look. Roll. What, what country? You must have rolled around in daffodils or something. <laughs> if you hear it say, Robbie, get, just step up. It's well, loading. Do do? You oh kill. My oh my god. Like this. Oh, you creep. <laughs> oh! Miserable little. Like that? Do I do that? Oh, do I do that? look at that. I know what I'm, I'm gonna, doing. I'm gonna wait. jacking I'm, him up I'm over here. Wait, Look at this. Dumbbell. I'll wait right come here. Come and get it. Come no. and get it. Come and get it. I can't see that. I'm safe over here. I'm coming to get it. Come on, talk about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hey, watch it. Watch it, fella. How about that? That was you underneath. I won. No, you didn't. Didn't I win? Rob won. Well, let's see who wins round two. Oh! Gosh, you're not fair. I don't think my buttons are I still won. No, no. Eh. A tie. Oh, you cheated. Junk. <laughs> ah, there's another round. I think you're smart. I'm trying to punch in your junk down there, Robbie. Yeah, I noticed that. Take his head off, Robbie. Do it. Jump. Don't let me jump. I'm in too close. That's the scop in the corner. <laughs> ah! I was cornered. I couldn't move. Oh, baloney. I won. Over. Maybe they should go outside and do a fight for real. Yeah. Tie. Round three. Well, you know, I do my best fighting like that. Oh! Oh! You know, Schwein? Stephen, one day I'm going to twist you up like a pretzel. I would love to see that day. It's not going to be today. He wants a video that will go viral. That, that will go viral. Ooh. 
Listen. Okay, Rob. Wait, I gotta polish We've this. We've got a lot that's of that's stuff camera. to cover. Mm -hmm. That'll go viral. <laughs> with the wrong guy. <laughs> listen, I gotta bloop that out. Now listen. That's why you have that blooping we, machine. We, we right got there. a lot oh of wonderful stuff to cover. Let's go now and see it. Swords of Fun. Richard May's fourth and last game that we're gonna be shipping out. Uh, Lloyd from Coin Up Warehouse is coming up to pick up the pieces. They're gonna go in a container. Um, converted to 240 volts. So that's one of those big fat plugs that we plug in. We plug our, our plug into there. So uh, Richard will be able to plug this in and play it immediately. He wanted LEDs up top, but he wanted regular light bulbs down below, just the way the game was. But we did put um, Cliffy's um, color um, bumpers here, plaster. Uh, post. Post. Come on. Come on. It's your first post. day. We also had to change the inserts. The, these are new overlay inserts because the old ones were all worn out. You can buy them, uh, they're licensed from Jeff at Classic Arcades right here, and he'll sell you the insert. So it's very simple to take off the old one and stick the new one on and you're as good as new. The game came out great, look at this thing. You know, the soundtrack on this thing uh, was Brian Schmidt. Loved, loved the track. Now he also did the soundtrack of Black Knight 2000 along with Dan Forden and Steve Ritchie. And I came across this new video that was just made and filmed overseas at the, uh, the Dutch Museum, Pinball Museum. And it's terrific. Here's a link right to this great video. You gotta watch this music video on the Black Knight, uh, by, filmed by Section 8. That's the group, and I'm really impressed with how great it was. I just loved it. And you will love it too. And so will Richard when he gets this game. Ah, almost Frank. Beautiful game. You know, I also wanted to show you back here. Um, we've never come across a Rotten Dog Logic Board before. A customer bought this and shipped it to us. So this is a Rotten Dog Logic Board, and what makes this board unique is that you can use it for both Data East games or Williams. The Williams games require this extra board that had the sound on it. See, the Data East games had a whole separate soundboard system. So this is like an add-on board that goes in the corner of the board. Everything else matches up, all the connectors on the Data East and Williams games. They all match up. The only difference was the sound. And we did some rebuilding up here too. We, we have new um, capacitors here. We have uh, soundboards, but has got new caps. There we go. So, uh, there it is. There we go, Richard. Beautiful game. He's going to love this baby. Listen, also, Robbie. Game's going out. It's going in a, a university's cafe. This is going to be their second and third game. I'm going to show you that. Golden T uh, 2005. We upgraded this thing. Robin, we upgraded this with a flash card. No hard drive. Did you know, Tiger Woods is very, very famous now. Did you know, I, I actually, heard of well, I actually was on the course with him once. And, well, Something happened that wasn't nice. Huh? Let me run you the clip. Well, the putts have not fallen for Tiger today. Yeah, that highlight package with all the misses, you would say, he's doing very well for Ty 14th <laughs> with all those misses, but guess what? He's still leading. <laughs> really been a very unusual weekend. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he, he said himself, you know, that he felt he should have been a little more uh, aggressive yesterday. But uh, you just get the sense that... Uh, he doesn't mind if he wins by one. Oh. Here it is to regain the outright lead. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. frustration continues. <laughs> I can't believe that didn't move right. 
Another reason to use the green screen. Now Steven's filming. Steven, look, back here. We're gonna show this remarkable job my Steven's doing. Rob, you're supposed to follow me. It's part Come of on, the puppy dog. Flow. Come on. <laughs> look. Yes, master. Look, look at this thing. Now we're st it's still a work in progress. Uh, it still needs to be painted. Yeah, it's, it's a work in progress, but the play field is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. All right, now over here. If I scratch it, would that be a problem? For your life. <laughs> Robbie, this game is ready for filming because it happens to be on. This is going to Kuwait. This Just move your big head right in front of the camera, thank you. This man has been very <laughs> patiently waiting for this game. God, he hates me. He ordered six games, Rob. Which uh, one? I hate them. Don't they all hate you? We all hate them. It's 240. But anyway, that's a, Steven, that's didn't, a you good do, price. didn't you spend hours on this? Somebody did a I'll tremendous what, job painting this game, I must say. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's great. See, the advantage of keeping the original art, there's tons of big advantages. The original art's always the best if you can keep it and restore it. Don't zoom in on his head. <laughs> he is so sorry. Robbie, we have a Sorry, done. remember I okay. Okay. I told you I'd kill you first? Right I have to Hurry up! That's my little cop. Come back. Your little cop? He hates you too. He does, does too. Talking about your little cop? cop. I can't okay. say that! Yes, I can. Now look. Oh, I'm so oh, I can't. Now I can't. 400 get up. pounds I love of excess. We've converted. The machine's been converted to 240. Because that's the voltage over in Kuwait. We have a new power supply. The logic board's been serviced. The 7,000 chassis has been serviced. Uh, that's running great. Um, we step down. How we get closer to show you, but somebody's fat leg is in the way. Well, you know. <laughs> See, this Steven, I, I can see Steven, unlike you, because you don't even know where the zoom button is, I can do this, I can do this. See, I can control when I'm editing. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. You can't control anything. <laughs> anyway, uh, this just has to get the final wipe out, and then we do a final back out. For you. Then this will get wrapped. Because we have to get all six games packaged up. This is not going to. Did he say he was going to do something? He doesn't do a whole lot of work. Did the artwork come in? The side art for this. Uh, it wasn't my turn to watch for it. Okay. That's our second Marble Madness going out. Sorry. Uh, the first Marble Madness is wrapped up in the warehouse. Now, the issue here is he's not ready. What are you doing, bud? This one we sold a while ago. I I don't know what. Did, am I missing something? Did Can't I find something? the coin mechanism. Kurt? It works. Kurt is out on service. I went through fifty. Come this way. They're all junk. It's nothing junk. Okay, Rob. Wait a minute. Come back here. You have to do something. Well, that's a chance. It's not going to go. Here's the other game that's going out. So he's doing some detail yeah, on, on the Yeah, Scott's working place. very, very yes. hard. Yes, you're supposed to be doing detail on this, not playing it. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> should, should I poke or slap? Slap. Okay. Detail it. We detail with Q-tips. And spit. Uh, okay. Morris Stephen has now finished the art. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, come over here. Do you remember the gouges on this thing? It was horrible. The gouges. Wait, wait a minute. Gone. They're gone. It's as smooth as Wallace would say is a baby's hiney. Uh, maybe he says behind. Wallace, did I get that wrong? Leave Wallace out of the equation. He didn't do anything. He's very wrong. busy. Hey, Rob, listen. Rob has to exacto knife this. This is a 19 inch Street Fighter bezel. So it has to be carefully cut out, which is what you do with an exacto knife. So it will work with a 25-inch television set that's in it. Figure it out. Well, I, I'm showing the camera. You see, Wallace, we do things in a careful manner. No, the side art is here. He's I must have missed that day. The yellow tea molding. And look, Nobody lastly, day, right? a bargain basement 
uh, Hollywood heat. We're, we're still working on it. Gorgeous. It's not quite ready. Uh, it's getting a new bulb. Uh, he's buying, he's going to do the rubbers, the light bulbs himself. He's going to convert them to LEDs. We will make sure all the lights are working before it goes out. But we've already done the mods. Actually, I should show you. Look. Right here, so it's there we are. I'm seeing it sideways. <laughs> the grandma. You're too fat. Bed. I can't get in in there where I need to be. Now this is a really good. Now this is this was designed sure to be a shelf. God, is he? These tools. Oh God. So, well, in fairness to my little Chris, the game is not done yet. So we're still we still have to reheat this board. This board has to be done. So we're, electronically, it'll be sound. He will have to do the graphics, like painting this, repainting the black on the side, taking short rounds pliers out. Rob, you gonna get to that or what? You were what? supposed to say something. Something. Rob, I can't do all the jokes of this. I, it takes, spent hours doing jokes. Okay, let me unlock it. Or did I lock it? How come all I can see is a bald spot? Oh. To shine off your yeah, head. That... There you go, Slappy. Okay, now. Stern and Gottlieb both use the same size tube. Or as my brother calls it, a tub. Why do you call it a tub, Rob? Fix him. It looks way better now, actually. I fixed it. Well, that's how he does it at home. Okay. Blow dry. Now, I want to show you something that's rather unique. Actually, it's not bad. Ty, you want to consider that. Active amusements. <laughs> this is the original board from, look at this, 1986 when the game was new. They put this board in here. It's not happy. We haven't taken the boards out yet. This board has to get serviced. That has to get... Something else you're touching not being happy. I'm surprised. The game is not happy. See, we still in the... Pro Rob, could the brand new tube be bad? No. Okay. It's probably your balance. Now, we just had the soundboard repaired. Uh, this still has to get heated. So there's still stuff that has to be done. But this is the original 1986 battery rod in there. It hasn't leaked. God. It's starting to leak now. What are the chances? Anyway. So, so this is in the process of getting its final checkout. We'll have to come back to this then, won't we? Wait, let me fix your hair. Now it looks great. Leave it. Oh. All right, that's 15 bucks. All right, let's come back to it finished. Robbie. <laughs> there we are. Well, we cleaned it up. We wiped it down. Uh, all the lights are now working. All the computer-controlled lights. Uh, we've serviced the boards. Now, what we do... I think a lot of you know this already, but I've been reading more and more posts. More and more people are finding out cold header pins are killing a lot of stuff. These have been reheated on this power supply, and that little pot squirted. But now you have to burnish all the edge connectors on these games. You have to. So all the edge connectors on these have been burnished with this eraser. Oh, it's a great eraser. That's a, we, we call it the dildo. But the... It's worth it. It's worth every cent. Get those connectors shiny. Right, Kurt? Yeah, get those. So, I don't think I saw uh, so a lot of these. I, I think this may be our first game we've sold as is and not shot. Now, you already know the principle. We capture the balls, two, and then to get in the multi ball, you simply fire it around this ring. It's that switch. And then you're immediately in in sync. See the in sync light is flashing here. So if I hit this one down, it'll drop that one down, and then drop them both, and reset them both. That in sync light is not blinking. Kurt, why is that not blinking? You just said every light is working. You lied. It was. No, it was. There it is. Lies. You know what? He's got to change. You know what? The folds are desperate. Listen, the man is buying this. You're going to see this video, you need to order the rubber set, order the LEDs, so you can change them. So you can, so when you get the game, 
take this apart, you can definitely put it together. You can put some of those strips in, up here in particular. That light? The, that light? That light. Which one do you want? Pick one. Fluorescent is not the future, Kurt. That won't fit in there? I did put a brand new bulb up top yes. because the ends were black. Well, I changed the ends. Okay, come on, I want to show you. We just did a neat thing on this. I showed you this a minute ago. Look, no, this is pretty. Don't you think this is clever? I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, we put blue and red team molding on this thing. Don't you think this is neat? So, the blue handle. Here, Kurt, try playing with me. Yeah, play with me, motherfucker. Careful. Don't be an idiot. God, you're so wretched. That's it. Everybody loves the music here. Listen. You can't even hear it. You should turn the volume Ultra up. stereo. Can here we go. Hear, can you hear it on the camera? Yeah, listen. Don't be quiet. I'm winning, Kurt. Oh! Oh! Oh, I lost everything. Uh oh, no, no, no. Destroying you now. That's for long. Oh! Ah! The jerk. Stupid game. Junk. Junk. Ah! But we both bumped each other, baby doll. Playing with balls. I don't, you said you love balls. Not as good as you, buddy. Ow. Oh. You suck. Junk. All right, look. <laughs> now look, we have a surprise. Number one, surprise! my beautiful wife is here. My beautiful wife. He's paying me double and second, tonight. Anthony. Who's from down under? He's actually here. But look how and tall he I is! I can't believe we. <gasps> he, and he knew exactly what these were. Yeah, the caramelly koalas. And he Beautiful. also knew Tim Tams. Yeah, the best. Yes, you remember but that from you get the these? video. These were sent to us from Travis in Australia, who thinks I'm walking on water. Oh, yeah. Well. What? That cute little koala bear. That's right. Um, these are for you. I want coffee though. No, it's not coffee. No, he's got no it. shoes. <laughs> he's visiting yeah. America. He's here for about four and a half weeks. That's correct. Now, yeah. earlier today, he went and stopped at Jersey Jack <gasps> to play what? the new smash hit Willy Wonka. Yeah. Do you oh know we gosh. have ordered 10,000 of them? 10,000? Is that all? I've already sold 1,000. Excellent. And we've <laughs> delivered them. Excellent. See? Do you want to deliver one to your house? Uh, yeah, it's a I'll lot of money Todd. for us, I'll Australians. Send, I'll send Todd with you. Todd can come kidding. down with us, yeah. You can take him with you. I was saying Todd should come we'll down to Australia. Them. We need all these service. Now, the Australia. most important yeah. thing is Travis spent $43 sending yeah. us wonderful things from Australia. Yes. What did you bring us from Australia? Um, two, himself. Two parts of stuff all. Okay, now. Pots of Anthony what? is very oh, familiar. Anthony is very familiar with how we handle word. people <laughs> that do this. I take this hand yeah. and then I do this. There we go. And then I take these two fingers and I do that. He left his children at home in the hotel. I could have done that to the kids. Yeah, you need to bring them back. They're very tired. I don't think they could handle tired. Okay. You know, you know it's too exciting. Now, too wouldn't exciting this for. fit right? Would this be a down under hat? That you one? put it on. You put it on Would and join me. There we go. We're oh, right. now you look like your father, Tom. Crocodile Dundee. That's what your look dad used to wear all the time. Look at that. The Crocs was bigger. He had a bigger <laughs> head. Well, I'm glad you and came to visit. And a small head. We already, we already showed him it around in the back. Head. Now I got to get rid of him. <laughs> no money. He didn't bring any money. He did. You, you could buy a t-shirt. I could do that. <laughs> no, no Pam, you can order the Lexus. I'll tell you what, Nick, I'll, I'll send you some Freddo frogs. Do you know what Freddo frogs are? No, but it sounds intriguing. Chocolate frogs with inside, there's like different flavors, strawberries, uh, peppermint, you, you everything. Know you love you know them. I'll send you, I'll you, know, send you that some. That would be nice. The best part about all you these different them countries, with you. Yeah. each country has something special the other countries well, don't I was have. Yeah. I was afraid yeah. you were going to tell us they're real frogs. <laughs> no, no, chocolate frogs are beautiful. 
Yeah. Yeah. Do you eat real frogs beautiful. down there? Not real frogs. How about alligators? No. no. I want an alligator pocketbook. That's what I want. An alligator pocketbook. Yes, but you want one that's still snapping like this. Yeah, so it can bite you in the butt. <laughs> And in conclusion, we made an older gentleman very happy, who happens to love pinball. Let's see what happens. Well, look, we have a visitor. This is yeah. Sheldon. Yeah. And Sheldon has come to play pinball today. Oh, yes. And we are bringing him in. All right. Well, with the flasher, idiot brother. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'll just do everything. This is our special entrance, Sheldon, the loading dock. Oh yeah, you showed me one time, the loading dock. This is special. Mach machine, oh, the, machine. Here, this is little Chris right here. Chris, hello Chris. He's our, he's our resident Philly cop. And we have uh, um, old Tom back there. Oh yeah. I back remember. there's Jonathan, he's back there. He's They're our official keeper of the curve. We're come out here for lunch. And of course Frank is filming. Sure. And my imbecile brother's right behind me. Oh yeah, uh, Bob. Bob, that's right. Yeah, I remember the two boxes and the pinballs on the construction. Yes, and we have all of our, and we, we're, this is where we're going to do, we have all your stuff there, Sheldon. Oh. That's right. Well, I figured you'd want to look at that first. The boys were having some fun with the snacks here. Now, who, who leftover did that? fortune cookies no, and barbecue got, sauce. We got barbecue. And we're going to cut this cupcake into 32 pieces so we can each have we a slice, cookies. okay? <laughs> and we got matzo and we got. See, these, these are going to be matzo, the. These yeah. are the dessert. You yes, know, we, speaking of matzo, that's right. they're having a Seder tomorrow. That's right, and I have it all for you. I've already got yeah, it, and I, got I, it. I checked it. I, I sampled each piece. Oh. So, <laughs> so here we are. This is our luncheon, and look. We're going to finish off with some saltwater taffy from Mark in Canada. Canada. Isn't that nice? That's a, we laid everything hey, out there. Like We're just kidding. Uh, I like the way you set up Look my trophies. There's your trophies. These, are, and these we rescued. And your yearbook. When I graduated high school. That's right. And we got in here your pictures oh. of your car you used to race. Yeah. See, there's a National Trailways Park. Up in the There's wall, Atco yeah. Raceway. That's you driving those cars, or did yeah. you work yeah. on them? Yeah. Did you work on them too, or did you just oh, drive yeah, them? I yeah. Did some of them. Yeah. You so did a little bit of everything, huh? Full. I, I put everything in these holders. It's some letters you wrote. Holders. And the most important thing is in the back. What's that? Uh, oh, where's she? Did she? Here they are. I, I obviously I have pictures of me, so you have to go home with pictures. See, these are pictures I took of you and me when we were. At the, at the, uh, at the, the holiday. holiday. Mm -hmm. oh. Now, if, if they had any sense, they would have put the pictures in so they'd be in the order as we flip them. I'll have to have a word with the person. So, now, whose helmet was this? Me. Are you going to be able to wear it again when you start racing? I might be able to. Good. Well, here's what we did. We're going to get your coat. And you know on top there, my name? You know who put that on? Who? My dad. Oh, okay. Look at that. Most people don't even know what that's made of, of a label anymore, those little clicker labels. I know. We know what they are, but no young folks don't know. Only younger. It's a, <laughs> you know, it's a total generation younger folk. Mm -hmm. Even playing pinball, they wouldn't know. And look what we did. We got this set up so you could play pinball right here. Oh, yeah. Now, where's the free play button? Let me put it on. So this one you can reach. Oh yeah, that's another thing I thought. There we go. Oh, now how about if you give this a whirl, young man? Can you reach the uh, flipper buttons? Yeah, let me see. I don't know if you can. I can push it in a little closer. Okay, that's enough. Can I'll you reach, reach this one? Reach. Oh yeah. There we go. I just traded it in and not actually running through the shop yet, but I said this is the perfect game that you can reach. Now, when, well, he used to come in, yeah. now, yeah. when he used to come in here, he was able to stand and play them. Now he can't. But There's a start button right there. Button. Oh, oh, good. And now, Sheldon, 
Yes. We are gonna stuff it. Stuff me. Look, look what we have. We have a big, big uh, setting for you. Let me swing you out. Yeah. Turn me now around. we're gonna turn you around. We have uh, three different kinds of pizza. We have chicken wings, French fries. We have cheese steaks. And we also have um, Italian, all from Dominic's Pizza. Okay. There we are, young man. Now, what would you like? To, oh, I'll bring your coffee over. Oh yeah. Sheldon has good taste. He likes coffee. And he dips it off. He just oh, like no, the way no. it is. People have called you a dip, haven't they? I think you put your no. Eaten. I think it's appropriate that we do a for he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. That nobody can deny. Okay, that's for me. Now we'll do it for Sheldon. Just kidding. Good. And we're ready to go. Uh, and then he's going to play some more pinball. He's going to give you the ball back. There you go. What do you think of that? Do you remember this song when it came out? When it was brand new? Oh. Of course. All these hits from the early 60s, mid 60s. And now Sheldon gets a this dose of Monster game. Bash. Your new favorite? My Beatles, he played Monsters, and he seems to love this one the best. It's beautiful. This could be in your house. Oh, I believe so. <laughs> I We're think gonna, the roommate would be uh, kept up all night if you had this game. Why don't we give Sheldon a quick tour of the shop? Here we go. The Grand Tour. Oh, Victor, as I'm going to. This is where we put games when they're sold that are Thank waiting you, to get fixed. See you, buddy. Kurt saying There boss. goes Kurt. See you. See you, Sheldon. Thank you. You're welcome. Kurt's on his knees again, folks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> These are games that we sold. Some of them are games that we sold that we're waiting what? to bring to the back. Oh, what's this game? Now back here is where we did all the work. Oh, yeah. People going to the house we're going to work on soon. Oh, the Swords of Fury. Oh. That game's almost done. And then here's Hollywood Heat. You can see we're working on the underside there. Oh, yeah. We got a couple video games, you know, blasters. I wonder how you know the different circuits. You know, you've seen it long enough. There's Steve, he's painting the Mars God of War. Oh, yeah. So it's going to look brand new when he's all done. How are you? Pretty good. See how that's turning out? The way it looks done, it's going to be beautiful. Yeah, it'll be beautiful. I mean, try. It's a wonder you know the, the circuits, you know, uh -huh. the schematics. Yeah, it looks like spaghetti when you first look at it. If you do it long enough, you learn what's what. Oh, yeah. Meteor. Else. Black Knight. Eight Ball, I think that was your. Well, Frank's done with it, it tastes like spaghetti. It does not. It tastes like copper and plastic. Yeah, that's <laughs> Countdown. Like an older one. Yeah, that's an older one. Mid Wallace. Mm -hmm. Wallace right. does a wall of oh, cabinet no. work. The overlays. Oh. some cosmetic stuff. And here we are. Yeah. Oh, well, I enjoyed it. We're glad you came. Glad you had a good time. The wheel in the background. I bet they'll invite me again. Yes, we want to have you back very soon. You know what this is? Robbie. Yeah, be careful. Now get out! <laughs> Just kidding. I think Sheldon had a great time. Thanks for joining us, folks. Good night.